Hello everyone, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to solve equations on the t 84 plus CE graphing calculator. So I have a couple examples here that we're going to try and solve. First I'll go over how to solve a basic equation, then how to solve an equation with multiple solutions, and then I'll go over some of the limitations that exist on this program. So to open the actual equation solver, press the math button, and then the last option in the menu is the equation solver, so we can quickly get there by pressing the up arrow key and then pressing enter to select the numeric solver here. So E1 and E2, uh, the two boxes here, basically represent the two sides of the equation. So in 3 plus 2x equals 4 plus 5x, 3 plus 2x would be one side and 4 plus 5x would be the other side. So let's just go ahead and type those in. So 3 plus 2, and then to type in x we press this xt theta n button here. So 3 plus 2x, and then press the down arrow key to get to E2, which is the right side of the equation. So 4 plus 5x. And now to continue, press the OK button here, which is the graph button. And now it will say x equals 0 or x equals some random number. And this is not necessarily the right answer. This is just the answer to the previous equation that you solved or whatever value you have stored in x. So to actually get the correct answer, press the solve button here, which is the graph button. And it will tell us that x is equal to negative 1 -third. And then to get out of this, we can do second and then mode, which is quit. So now let's go ahead and solve this equation with multiple solutions. So 0 equals x minus 3 times x plus 3. So this, uh, the solutions to this equation are x equals 3 and x equals negative 3. So let's go back to the equation solver and see what it tells us. So 0, uh, the left side of the equation, right side of the equation would be x minus 3 times x plus 3 because this is to the right side of the equal sign. Uh, press OK, which is the graph button. And then since this is the uh, not necessarily the correct answer, we find the correct answer by selecting solve. And it tells us x is equal to negative 3. So what happened to x equals 3? So basically the way this program works is that it tells you the answer that is closest to whatever you type in here. So if I type in uh, 3 here, or if I type in 4, it will say that the answer is 3, because 3 is the closest uh, solution to 4. If I type in negative 4 here and hit solve, it will tell me x is equal to negative 3, because negative 3 is the solution that is closest to the number that I typed in. So if you have an equation with multiple solu solutions and you want to find um, all of these solutions, basically the best you can do is just keep typing in ran random numbers and hitting solve until you find all of the solutions. There isn't really a better way to do that, unfortunately, um, but it's better than nothing. So there are some limitations on this program. Uh, you can't do equations with multiple variables. If you do something like x plus y equals 3, which you, would, you wouldn't really be able to solve anyway, but if we did that um, and we solved for x, uh, you can see here that it, it, it is assuming that y is equal to 0, and it's just solving for x. Um, this can be useful if you want to like type in uh, numbers into the variables and then solve for a certain variable, but you can't solve uh, an equation that has multiple unknown variables in it. And then if you type in an equation with infinite solutions, so if we do like x minus x equals 0, it will basically say that any number we type in is the correct answer. It's not going to tell you that there's infinite solutions, it's just going to say that whatever you typed in is the correct answer, so be careful of that. And then the final thing that can happen is that sometimes we do like x minus 3 is equal to, to 0. So the solution would be 3 here. And it does say that, but sometimes it'll give us something like 2.9999 uh, 9 repeating. Apparently it's not doing it this time. <laughs> sometimes it'll give you something like 2.999 and just a bunch of 9s. So you just have to recognize that that's equal to 3 and that the program is not always going to be 100% perfect. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, and I will see you in the next video.